Like all of us, Verna Reed has known good times and bad. In her memoir, She's a Woman of Substance, she shares her story in hopes it will inspire others. And Verna is here with us. A woman of substance you are. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are, were in the broadcast business a while back. A very while back, yes, of course. Tell us your story. You, in, in, in two minutes. Oh, I was going to ask you, <laughs> do you have the time for my story? Yeah, right, right, right. Tell right, us your story okay. in a nutshell. Okay. Um, do you want to go back to when I was born? Well, or I know the, that your memoir pretty much covers, covers everything. All of that. Yeah. Yes, but it you, does. you say it covers the good and the and bad. And the bad, and some of the ugly also. Yeah. Um, the story in the book is about how I grew up and the poverty that we lived in and how I struggled to overcome that. And I always wanted to talk. I always thought that my gift was to talk. I still do believe that. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea how, when, where, or to whom I would talk to. Mm -hmm. I did have occasions to speak at Congressman Dawson's, uh, one of his affairs out on the south side of Chicago when I was like eight years old. Wow, you um, started early then talking. I, you had oh, the gift I of gab. Started <laughs> actually before that at four uh -huh. in a little church in Mississippi where I was born before mm -hmm. we came to Chicago. Mm -hmm. When I came to Chicago, that was when I did the, the Ori talk to with uh, yeah. Congressman Dawson's audience. What were some of the challenges that you faced? Doing what? Living or? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, we only have a few minutes. So, okay. <laughs> what, what made you want to write this book? Okay, thank you for asking okay. that. I wanted to write this book because there's so many stories in this book. Not so much about the Verna Reed Show, and yes, about the Verna Reed Show at the same time. The stories are that you should not give up on your dream. The stories about things that I see that are happening right now. People going through m mental, physical, psychological abuse from their spouses. I went through that, mm. you have no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I had my spouse take me to court mm. uh, because he didn't want to play child support and didn't think that the judge would give him the kids. He asked for them like, thinking because back in that time, the, nobody, African-American men or even any white man were taking over the responsibility of children. Mm -hmm. So he proposed that to the judge while I was there. Mm -hmm. And the judge gave him custody. Wow. Because he said, if she could do it, you can too. That was landmark. Mm -hmm. That was landmark. But I wrote the book because, not just because of those stories, but because of what those stories represent. It, it, people I hear say so very frequently, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I had no money. I mean, I came from very humble, and I'm talking about the humblest of humble backgrounds, but I knew that I wanted to talk. And so I took little classes here and there to prepare myself for that. Mm -hmm. Actually, at Columbia College, uh, one of your colleagues taught, was one of my teachers, mm. Lester Holt. Mm. Uh, but I got recruited when cable first came out, Access Cable, to this little television studio in Evanston. And that's where you did the Verna Reed Show. And that's where I did the Verna Reed Show. Uh, that's where all of these people were volunteers. It was just coming out. Nobody knew what to do, when mm -hmm. to do or how to do it. Mm -hmm. So I, I did the groundwork. You could say it started in that studio with the Verna Reed Show paving the a way. path. Yeah. Not just for the guests that I had on, but for the studio, mm -hmm. they didn't know. Nobody had heard about cable and yeah. what you're supposed to do with it. And so you hope that this book is the inspiration for those who start with nothing to let them know they can become something. 
Yes, if I ever get there to become. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's your ultimate goal, Berta? <laughs> is to become that something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. become that something. I, I've always lived to become something. I don't know how to give up. I wasn't, I, I just don't, it's not on my agenda mm -hmm. at any time, any place, anywhere. Never stop. Never. Yeah. I, my five kids, they could tell you that. Uh, I. I just had to kind of prepare myself and them. I wanted to do something. Well, I, I think you've done something. You I mean, think? you've raised five children. You've written a book. That's something, Werner. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Tell me that is something Thank because you. I've yet to actually quite get it in my yeah. brain that that is something. You are. Yeah. I promise you. Take that to the bank. What? Verna Reads, She's a Woman of Substance, is you, available on Amazon. I wanted to tell you how the book got its name. Oh, how? Because there, I was in court. I'll do this quickly. Okay, well, we got to go. You can tell me after the show. That's our show for today. <laughs> the WG and Weekend Morning Show is next. We'll see you again soon. I so, what happened that. now? Tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Um,